Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have seen rule number 1, rule number 2, 3 and 4 on particular integral. Now, this rule number 5 is very special rule because if you don't know any of the rule like uh, 1, 2 and 4, uh, this rule would be very handy in solving the problem. Rule 3 you have to prepare on anyhow. So what this rule number 5 says, if you have f of xy is equal to phi of ax plus by, well what is this ax plus by? This ax plus by can be anything like e to the power ax plus by. It may be sine ax plus by or cos ax plus by. It may be like ax plus by to the power m where this m is m may be integer or it may be a fraction okay so if this is the case then you can apply this rule okay rule number one two we also can be the problem that we have solved on rule number one and two can also be solved with the help of this as you can see this phi of x y can be e to the power x plus by also sin x or cos x plus b y okay so we have this then what this says this says uh, this says uh, just write down the particular integral and then put d is equal to a and d dash is equal to b and if this comes out to be non-zero then see what is the order of differential equation if the order of differential equation is 2 so 2 integral will be there phi of put this as v phi v dx square if the order of differential equation is 3 then it would be phi of v triple integration phi of v dv cube something like that. okay so i hope this is uh, rule is clear to you now to make the idea more clear let us take an example that we have this example so, because this is the very first example, I want uh, to just uh, write down its complementary function. So, you can start with uh, given thing. So, given this and then after given thing, you can just write down this. After this, you can write its auxiliary equation. So, what is its auxiliary equation? These are just the revision of complementary function in every case. The auxiliary equation is for d is equal to m, d dash equal to 1. So this is like m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. So we have this. Now what are the rules? Very simple. So m is equal to 1, 1. This is m minus 1 whole square. So the roots are 1, 1. So roots are repeated. So we can write cf as phi of y plus m1x so 1x plus because this is repeated so i just need to multiply by x into phi 2 of y plus 1x where what is this phi 1 and phi 2 these phi 1 and phi 2 are the arbitrary functions okay after cf we just have to find out pi so what is pi 1 upon d square minus 2 d d dash plus d dash square into tan of x plus y okay so we have this now what you can do is uh, you just uh, need to substitute d is equal to coefficient of x means 1 and d dash equal to coefficient of y so put d is equal to 1 and d dash is equal to 1 okay we get what we get d square minus 2 d d dash plus d dash square is equal to so what is it 1 square plus 1 square 2 minus 2 into 1 that is 2 so this is 1 minus 2 plus 1 so this comes out to be 0 so just because the uh, this f of a b we are not getting to be non-zero so here case fails so you can write here that is case fails and whenever case fails we apply we apply the case of failure 
So what is the case of value that we apply when the case fails? When any of the case fails, we apply case of failure. So PI is equal to case of failure says multiply numerator by x, differentiate denominator with respect to b. So this is 2d minus 2d dash plus 0 into 10 x plus y. Okay, now again substitute put sorry put again put d is equal to 1 and d dash is equal to 1 we get what we get 2d minus 2d dash so this is 2 minus 2 0 again again case fails so whenever case fails without any second thought you can just apply the case of failure therefore pi is equal to multiply numerator by x differentiate denominator with respect to d so this is 2 into 1 minus 0 into 10 x y x plus y so we have just end with the pi so what is my pi now so i am getting pi to be so i am getting pi to be x by 2 into 10 x plus y. Therefore, the complete solution is, therefore, the complete solution is z is equal to cf plus pi. That is z is equal to, what is my cf? I think I have found out cf as 5 1 y plus x because 1 was repeated so x into 5 to y plus x again plus what is my pi x by 2 into 10 x plus y don't forget to write where 5 1 and 5 2 are arbitrary functions okay so this completes uh, the solution of this problem so i just want to take one more problem on the same type so that uh, you can just uh, <coughs> follow the things example find find pi of i am not taking the uh, cf or if you want i can just uh, write down the problem cf you can find out on your own so example solve so let me take the example del 3 z by del x cube minus 3 del 3 z by del x into del y square plus 2 del 3 z by del y cube is equal to x plus 2y power half power half this problem sometimes ask like uh, x plus 2y power half sometimes it is asked like under root of x plus 2y okay so you can just start with given so what is given to us we are given this try to write down in terms of operator d so this is d cube minus this is 3 times d into d dash square plus 2 into d dash cube operating on z is equal to x plus 2y power 1 by 2 okay so you can just now it's your turn to find out the uh, complementary functions okay because we have taken such type of problem in the live sessions also okay so what is complementary function the complementary function here is the roots are 1, 1, minus 2. So, your complementary function is 5, 1 of y plus x plus x into 5, 2 of y plus x plus 5, 3 into y minus 2x. So, this is my complementary function. That is what you have to find out. Okay. You have to solve this. Now, I am, as I said, I am highly interested in finding out the pi. So 
what is pi? Just give me a moment here. So pi is equal to 1 upon d cube minus 3 d into d dash square plus 2 d dash cube. Here we have x plus 2y power 1 by 2. Okay, so what we need to do, we just need to substitute d is equal to 1 and d dash equal to 1. So put d is equal to 1, d dash is equal to 2, we get, what we get? 1 cube minus 3 into 1 into 2 plus 2 into 2 cube. So this comes out to be? 2 cube is 8 to the 16 plus 1 17 and this is minus 6. So it is 11. 1 minus, well this is d dash is square. So this is 2 square. So it is like uh, 1, uh, 17 and this is 12. So 5 plus 5 we are getting. So we are getting 5 which is not equal to 0. So what you can do is, you can write pi is equal to 1 by 5 into, now this is a non-zero quantity. Now see what is the order of this differential equation. Order is 3. So how many integration? 3 integration. Okay, of what? Of this function. So I have to find, I have to write this x plus 2y as v. So I will write v to the power 1 by 2 into dv cube. Okay, now take 3 times derivative, so it is 1 by 5, double integration, v to the power 1 by 2 plus 1, is it, upon 1 by 2 plus 1. So you can write uh, 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 dv square. Again take derivative, so the integration, sorry, so integration of uh, v to the power 5 by 2 upon 3 by 2 already there, 5 by 2 dv. Again take integration, so this is like 1 by 5, 1 by 5 v to the power 7 by 2 upon 3 by 2, 5 by 2, 7 by 2. Okay, so what value we are getting then? So we are getting pi is equal to, pi is equal to 1 by 5. What is this v? v is my x plus 2y. You can write here actually where v is equal to x plus 2y. You can write. So this is my uh, x plus 2y power 7 by 2. And when you solve this, this is 2, 2, 2, 8. So 8 in the numerator. And this is 5, 5 is a 25. 25 is to 35. That is 525. So this is 8 into 525. So this is my pi. At last, you can just write down the general solution. Therefore, z is equal to cf plus pi is equal to, what is cf? 5 1 y plus x plus x into 5 2 y plus x plus 5 3 y minus 2 x plus 8 by 525 x plus 2 y power 7 by 2 where 5 and 5 2 where 5 and 5 2 and 5 3 are arbitrary functions so this completes the solution of this uh, problem i hope you have got the idea and you can now apply the same procedure to the different problems so i want you to whatever problem we have taken on rule number one and two same problems you just try with this method you will find it very 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 handy method to get uh, to uh, solve the problems okay so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day